Hello everyone, this is Epic Eclipse here, and I'm here with my new series called Prospect Guides. So this series is going to be a whole bunch of Rocket League tips and tricks. We're going to be going from the basics of the basics all the way to the hardest things in Rocket League that I can come up with. Uh, I'm pretty experienced. I've been playing Rocket League ever since the game first came out, before Season 1 and before all that, when it first came out on the Steam Market. So I think I've been playing a pretty good amount. I have about 800 hours. So the first thing I want to go over in this is controller versus keyboard. I recommend controller even though I started off with the keyboard because just by playing about 50 hours of gameplay with controller, I've gotten so much better and almost the near skill of my keyboard in just 50 hours compared to the 800. And also one of the pros that used keyboard switched over from using 1100 hours of keyboard and started and went for 200 hours of controller and now is better than he was before so that really statistically shows things so we're starting here on my main menu because I want to show you the controls that I use for controller so here it is frontwards backwards a for jump B for boost that's pretty standard I use an Xbox one controller uh, the big thing that's different is power slide I've moved to LB because it makes it easier when you're flying using boost it's hard to hit B and X at the same time so it's easier just to put LB or you can put RB if you want to but I prefer LB because um, and then also air roll is LB as well which I'm gonna go over air roll in this video because a lot of people don't actually know what that is I didn't figure out to what air roll was into way into my Rocket League clear career about being an expert I figured it out so these are all my controls and the other big thing is focus on ball is left stick clicking it so these are all my controls and that was the basics there and the next thing I want to go over is the car that you should use this is basically all personal interest it's whatever you feel most comfortable with whatever you feel you can do the best with is what you should use but what i'm going to do is suggest two cars that i personally like the most so the first car as a lot of people use it is the dominus this is one of my favorite cars uh it's in a dlc in rocket league and it's very clear to its hitbox its hitbox is right around what the car looks like which is very helpful and it is very long and you can kind of use it very well in aerials because it's like a paddle sort of you can kind of use it as like a baseball bat in a way and it's very good for dribbling too to pop it up and all that kind of stuff so that's the dominus and the next thing is the octane the octane is a very good car and it's very good for dribbling I just like the body shape and how the car feels, so I very much prefer to use the Octane. Another very popular car to use. So, those are the two cars that I want to recommend, and I'm going to jump into training here, so I'll see you guys there. I'm back in tutorial, and the first thing I want to go over is double jump. I know to a lot of people that may be very basic, but a lot of people are newly getting the game and don't know a lot of things about it. So, double jump is... Basically, if you click A once, you jump once. A is my jump button. Could be something else for other controllers. On the keyboard, it's left click. So, jump, pressing A once is jump once. And you can only get like so high and do so much with that little jump. Get so much of the ball and just really not do too much with it. But if you click A a second time, you get higher. Now, this is very useful for many reasons. One is if a ball is going over you a little bit, you can double jump to hit it. And there you go. Or if you're in the goal and you're here and the ball's like coming, jumping once and only knowing how to do that, you can only get so high. See, you can only get to like about halfway optimistically. Using double jump, you can only get almost get the full length of the goal, which is very, very helpful in defense. And really that's the main features of it just knowing to do it is very helpful so next up I know that was short but next up is directional jumping now on the controller there's 16 different directions but on keyboard there's only eight so controller there's this one jumping forwards 
jumping backwards, jumping directly to the right side, jumping directly to the left side, jumping sort of like forward, but like a little bit to the left, then jumping forward and a little more to the left. And then obviously there's the same way to the right and same way to like this sort of direction. So that's all you kind of directional jumping there. There. So the big uses for this, if you jump forwards like this, double jump forwards, you will go quicker than just driving. See? This is how long it would take you normally to get across field by just driving, saying if you have no boost. Now, if you had, if you double jump, look. How much quicker you get down the field. It speeds up so much more and it will get you down back on defense or on offense much quicker. So that's for that. That's going forward. Now, for going backwards, a useful thing is say you need to get back on defense. Now, you can either speed back and, you know, turn backwards in the goal. But you really, you know, even on ball cam, you go back and it's kind of hard to tell and, like, kind of hard to judge. If, you know, if you power slide this way and someone, or if you just turn this way, in any words, and someone shoots this way, it's hard to get back. So, a useful thing is to jump backwards. Because... You could jump back pretty well. And another secret little tip here is if you really are a little bit better at the game and can time it, in the middle of your jump backwards, you can kind of boost a little bit, which gives you a quicker time getting back down on, on the field. So that's backwards and forwards jumping. Now the next is sideways jumping. So say you're over here in the goal, like, not in the goal, but... On offense and the ball kind of is coming rolling past you. you it's so hard to like have to turn and stuff and that takes so much more time so instead of that you can just jump that way and put the ball in the goal so let me show you an example of that so let's just get this over here and we want to get it so it's rolling sort of across the goal I know this is gonna be a little bit slower than it would be in the game so say it's going there and then you could just jump like that and put it in the goal and that's so much quicker than you having to turn into the ball and put it in the goal. So the next jump that really is mainly used is the sort of sideways but frontwards jump. Which, say you're in a little bit of an awkward position to the ball, it and you don't have you don't have to turn to hit it. You just go I hit the wrong button there, my bad. You just go and you go like that, and there you go, you hit the ball. And instead of having to turn, you hit it. Now, the more you practice that, you can actually get that shot on goal and maybe sneak it past the defense. And there you go. You have yourself a goal there. So, the last thing I want to go over is flying. Flying is a very useful thing in this game. Basically, if you jump up and then press whatever your button is for boost, you can fly. And flying can be used for a whole bunch of things. Just like double jump... Let's get this so it doesn't go in. Uh, just like double jump, to cover more... Wow, I pressed the wrong key there, my bad. To press, to get more ground, or more air, covered in the goal. You know, double jump, you can't exactly get all. But with using a little bit of boost, you can get up there and hit the ball. So it gives you better on defense, get like better coverage. And also, if it's like... If you're going down court and the ball is a little high, double jump won't get you anything. Say it's really high, kind of high up there. You can fly all the way up there and hit the ball and kind of move yourself around. With the uh, left analog stick, you can move yourself around and aim in different directions. And if the ball is coming out a certain direction, you can kind of angle yourself in a certain direction and shoot it in the goal. So that's what... Aerials really help for is a whole bunch of things, to be honest. Aerials is one of the most useful things in the game. And two aerials. A lot of people don't know about this, actually. This is the thing that I didn't really know about too, too long ago. I don't know if I'm just stupid or it's just something that never really gets brought up in the game. And something you don't really find out about. Is when you're flying, the normal by press, like moving the left analog stick, you can only move in so many different directions, see? But, 
if you're flying and you press the same button as power slide, which is for me is LB, but normally on an Xbox controller it is X, I would recommend changing it. You can hold it and go in so many different directions. This has many uses for it, which it can give you a little bit more of a better angling that you can hit the ball at and send it into the goal better or hit it in different directions that you want it to better, pass it to teammates better, do whatever you want. But this also, say you're like falling and you're like this and it's kind of hard to like get yourself back on your wheels. So if you're falling like this, holding that LB button helps you a lot more to get your car back on its wheels. So that's the really big use about it and it helps so much. And obviously the quicker you land on your wheels, the quicker you can get going and get back on defense or on offense. This has been Epic Eclipse and I hope this has helped you in some way whether you're new to the game or you've been playing the game for a while. So this is the first episode of Prospect's Guide. Eventually the title is going to change up the ranks as we get harder and harder stuff and I hope we can progress together and get better together. So I hope you've enjoyed and see you in the next one.